Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar Channel. Well, here we are at the beginning of the 2020 Arizona Off-Road State Championship Series. Round one brings us once again to Arizona Cycle Park in Buckeye, Arizona, where last year I managed to pull off my first podium, first place in the 40 plus division of the C-Class. So I was really excited to get out here and see how my skills would stack up against a much more experienced group of riders. Those of you who watch the channel on a regular basis know that this would have been my first race in the 40 plus B class. But as fate would have it and a lack of proper maintenance and care on my part, well, it just wasn't to be. In fact, a lot of things went wrong for me that weekend. And it all started when I first arrived and got in on the first practice lap. This is like the, a first for here. We're, run, we're running a, what's called a GP, Grand Prix. And so we're allowed to actually see the course uh, if we enter this unclassified race. And of course it's for money. So basically it's a pay to play kind of thing. You pay a little bit to see what the course is like. I'm gonna see how the engine responds after that bad race. So we're getting three flashes, one long, one long, two short. One, one, two. It doesn't help that I just say like that. What's up? New bike. My seat's all up. I don't know, I'm gonna take it back, get it looked at. Thanks buddy, I appreciate you stopping. So yeah, we got an FI light again. It's running better, but the FI light's still flashing. 
Which there's, I mean, there's obviously something wrong. I probably shouldn't keep riding it. So I figure this out. Get it repaired. It makes me mad though because I'm feeling pretty good about this course so far. My new suspension's got me thinking like I'm a pro or something. <laughs> Trying to plow through that stuff. This is ridiculous, like. That, I mean, this is the most frustrating thing that I've had and, and like, with all the crazy stuff I got going on right now, this is not what I need out of the stuff that's supposed to be fun. I can't get to the damn button. <sighs> it's got some pep in it, step. It's not like it was at the last race. But I can't keep riding around with the damn FI lay on, throwing codes. So as is sometimes the case with these things, uh, it might be my fault. Um, it looks like it might be just a coolant problem. So uh, I'm gonna put some coolant in the, in the bike. Um, so one long flash, two short flashes is low coolant on this bike. The temperature sensor or the water temperature sensor is bad. So, and I opened up the coolant and it looks like it's empty. I don't know how that would happen, but let's fix it. Let do this. Oh, that's why we don't have coolant. I found the problem. Radiator's got a big hole in it. That's the problem. I want to say that I have bad luck. Maybe it's Murphy's Law. You know, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Anything to avoid having to admit that it's my fault and it's operator error. This radiator damage was most likely caused from the crash at the Oracle race in November where I hurt my ribs. Since that crash at Oracle, the FI lights come on all three times that I've ridden the bike. And I haven't had a get off since Oracle. I was so worried about myself that I never really went over the bike to see if there was any damage from that. And I feel pretty stupid that I didn't catch it until now. Uh, this kind of stuff doesn't really happen that often. Um, it's only now where I haven't had as much time and, I mean, to be honest, the motivation that I need uh, to make sure that things are squared away. You know, um, I'm doing a lot of last minute stuff and, and it's starting to show. Um, it's affecting the way that I'm performing on the bike, uh, it's, per it's, it's affecting the way that I'm taking care of my equipment, which obviously uh, it's not good enough. I don't know how many guys check, check their radiator fluid every ride, but uh, you know, maybe I should, I gotta start doing that. I just gotta start checking things a little more often than I do at least. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a real rock star. I'm an average guy, just like you, and I'm trying to figure it out uh, every day. Uh, and the things that I do figure out or I, or, or I get, I have some insight in, I try to share that with you guys. And uh, by all means, I don't know everything. Um, and I run into a lot of people who think they do and some people who know a ton of stuff. Um, but even the best of, of them, you know, still make mistakes, still uh, don't have everything 100% right. We all have our biases. I'm getting slapped in the face with a lot of like, my own arrogance. I've started to get to the point where I start, where I feel like I start knowing things and then I don't want to listen to other people. Um, and that's a problem I need to fix. I need to work on. But anyways, uh, I'm, the bright side is I'm, I'm happy, uh, to be here. Uh, I'm happy that I've, I've, I, it's not such a mystery what's going on with my bike. I kind of think we've got it figured out here now and it's not cross your fingers and get on the bike and go race and hope that it doesn't break down. FI light flash and, uh, and we know the code now is uh, the coolant temperature sensor um, because there's no coolant. So I know probably there's a hundred of you out there who's like, this guy's an idiot. Of course, we would have figured that out. Well, good for you. I appreciate you. You know, I hope this doesn't happen to other people. I hope you guys are smarter than me. I hope that you watch my video and you learn from the mistakes that I make because uh, I make a lot of them and I don't try to hide them from you guys. I show them to you guys, you know, and maybe that'll teach you something. Uh, all right, I got to go. I got stuff to do. Thank you. I have some options here. I can uh, either 
work this race and take some worker points, run around and film, and then uh, just take the zero for this race, and then uh, you know use it as a drop. If we get one drop, this would be it. None of these options are, are ideal options right now. Um, so I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna look around and see if I can't find a radiator for the bike. I've already had an offer from the guys from SP Suspension. Nathan has offered to give me a radiator tonight. So I'm gonna look around and see if I can do it on my own without having to take his radiator because I feel bad. He does a lot for me. I don't want to keep taking from him. Yeah, this stuff is miracle cure. It made a believer out of me the last week fixing that oil leak. He, he's still, I think he's racing it today. Really? Just with the stuff on it, yeah. It's right there. So just clearing some of those fins out of the way? Yeah. Yeah, to get more surface area, you know, you want to kind of mush it around. And it'll, it'll form a plug if you can get it all the way around this and mush down on top. It's like this pipe, and a little, there's a little nick in this one right so those there. Those pipes go all the way to the back. Right? right, front to back. Yeah, they go all the way down and across. You pack it in so it goes all the way through, right? You try and get it as far in as you can. See, the, 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 the tear in the tube is right on the very ends of it. You can see it only goes down about you know, yay far. So you want to try and clear around it and then mush all the by it. And then all the surface area will help hold the plug in. You say, I don't trust the bike, but don't have a little duct tape and you know, <laughs> quick steel on her somewhere. A little JB here and there. Just go ahead and bolt it back on. Like I say, it's a full cure in one hour. So okay. give her an hour and fill her up. Go for it. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> So I've got, I've got gremlins everywhere. The inverter, which supplies the electricity to charge all the batteries on the cameras and stuff, this thing right here is no longer functioning. I'm gonna replace it with this 400 watt one for now that it should be enough to charge batteries. Oh man, problems. There's just gremlins, the bike's not working right. Oh, life's just not working right. Uh, I'm sure everybody's had one of those days, but there's some bright spots. Um, you know, I have the ability to get out here and ride. I have my health, you know. It was not too long ago I didn't have that, so you gotta be grateful for the things that are working out pretty well. All right, so it looks like it's holding, and we're gonna give it a shot. See how it goes. Uh, none of the. Uh coolant is leaking out, so... Looks like I got excited for nothing. Once I got a uh, coolant in the bike, got it started, let it run for a little while, started leaking again and smoking. I was just about to get dressed and go get, get ready for the race, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Gotta test out this new radiator that I put on, make sure everything's working all right. the crap out of me it looks like the bike is fixed now but I'm still really disappointed about not being able to race with the race only being an hour and a half it pretty much was the same as what we're used to in the C class so it would have been a great race to get started in the new class and by the time I realized that the radiator repair wasn't going to work well it was too late to work the race but the race isn't a complete loss I managed to get the drone up and get some pretty good shots of the race and I figured out what's wrong with the bike, and I got it fixed. So now the bike's ready for round two. The question is, will I be? 
Hey guys, I want to thank you for coming and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. Please support my sponsors if you get a chance. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.